Now there are multiple ways of adding a tenancy record and one of them is adding the tenancy onto the property record ready and waiting for an applicant to get involved or to initiate that process. You are however splitting the process into two parts. What we're going to do in a second is create the tenancy and add the applicant onto it at the same time. We are waiting for an applicant to initiate this process by saying that they like a property. If you've got any existing tenancies that you need to get into the system, you can do this under the tenancies wizard and add a new tenancy. This will then give you the option at various points to go and add in the property record and the landlord and then the applicant record on the tenancy. You can add a tenancy in from a dashboard and a grid as well. It is a standard dashboard with all of the, the pods on the dashboard where you need to create or configure your tenancy quick links. And you've got your tenancies grid as well where you can choose your columns and move the columns around. You can add a tenancy in from the property record, add a new tenancy, or from the applicant record on the tenancies tab as well. Again, add applicant to a tenancy. Now we don't have the tenancy record waiting for us, so we're going to be adding the applicant or creating the tenancy from the applicant wizard and adding it to them at the same time. So under tenancies, clicking add applicant to a tenancy, making sure that we are on the applicant record. Clicking add applicant to a tenancy will open up the add a tenant screen. On step one, we would select the tenancy record that we haven't yet created. Now, if we had created it, though, it would be sitting here or we could search for it, but we haven't yet created it. So we're going to click the plus icon down at the bottom to create the tenancy. On this one, on step one, again, we're going to click the plus icon and this time adding in the property record that this time we have created. So searching for it up at the top here with our wildcard feature and selecting it from the list. To show you that again, on the tenancies tab of the applicant record, click add applicant to a tenancy. We're then going to click the plus icon to select the tenancy record, which we haven't yet created. So the plus icon down at the bottom right to create the tenancy. We're going to click the plus icon on step one here to select our property record, which we have created. So we're going to search for it up at the top here using the wildcard feature and clicking onto it to select it. That's added the property into the tenancy. We're now going to confirm the details. So this is the rent amount which has pulled through from the property, but this is the rent on the tenancy. So if they've managed to negotiate down to 825 or 840 or whatever, you can add that in here because this is the rental amount on the actual tenancy. The rent frequency, you've got a whole other bunch of frequencies here rather than just weekly, monthly or annually. You've also got daily, fortnightly, four weekly, two monthly, quarterly or biannually here as well. To do with lettings finance, we are going to automatically charge rent. That is covered on the finance training, which generally runs every Wednesday at 10. The management type, you create your own management types in configuration, and we're going to go from fully managed. And our percentage management fee here is 7.5. Now you cannot change this to a fixed fee, but you can on the actual tenancy record once you've created it. So if you do any tenancies with a fixed fee, add the fixed fee in here as a percentage. And I'll show you where to change it on the actual tenancy record. The deposit amount. The deposit type. The availability date on the property record the agreement type and you create your own agreements in a configuration and your negotiator as well. So clicking on the save button has created the tenancy record. We are now confirming the applicant details on that tenancy. So if this applicant was a single applicant, obviously they are in charge of all of the rent. If they are multiple applicants and they were only in charge of half the rent and you're collecting the other half from the other applicant, then you can add this applicant's information or this applicant's rental amount as 425. The second applicant, you would add them in with their rent amount as 425 as well. 
If, however, there are two applicants and you are collecting only from one bank account, you would add the main tenant's rent amount as 850 is the full rental amount. The rent frequency, again, the deposit amount and the payment reference if needed. Pressing the save button has created a pending tenancy on the applicant record. We can now activate the tenant portal, which I'll show you in just a second. So selecting the tenancy and then activate tenant portal, which will send the tenants the tenant portal email. If we click into the tenancy now as well, we'll go through the tenancy in just a minute, but in the tenancy, if we needed to change the recurring management fee to a fixed fee, this is where we would do it from. Doing it straight away will reduce the chance of you forgetting to do it. So we've created the tenancy now. It's still a pending tenancy. We've created it though, and we've also activated the tenant portal.